Hi, it's me again, same time, same place. I am continuing with the sketchbook that we did in the last video, which I'm recording immediately after the previous video because I'm here and I've got time. Uh, so I'm gonna flip you around and we'll get to it. All right, this is where we left off. So I'm just gonna continue from here. Uh, these were more Trixie Divine life drawing sessions. So Henley School of Art, I believe. Or they could have been to do Emma Carlisle because she also did a session. Um, this was a page that turned out better than I expected. I just had this Samiri background. There was this nasty gouache. I think it was Reeves. It was either Reeves or Lucas brand that I had bought to try because it was cheap and it was gross. So I just like smeared this slimy gouache all over the page and had these pages open. And then I did uh, Becca Hall's Patreon recording this weekend, and this was a timed uh, pink bird, which I just used paint pen, uh, pink paint pen, light gray paint pen, and some black pencil on top. But I really love the way this turned out. Uh, this was another one from the lemur, Emma's Every Minute on the Minute. Uh, so there's a bunch of different materials used here each minute have to change and continue with that material and this was from Becca Hall's um, exotic birds uh, that was another timed I don't remember how much time we had for that one another lemur every minute on the minute uh, this was another life drawing session this uh, model's name is Naomi and she had these really cute frilly underwear on and a little um, frilly collar around her neck. So these were each two minute poses. I just used a different colored paint pen for each one. Uh, these are more of Naomi. Um, five minutes, eight minutes, and 13 minutes. Uh, so, you know, I'm just playing around with different approaches, with different materials, different color schemes. Oh, another Naomi. Uh, I actually really like this one, both of these. Uh, 15 minutes and 20 minutes. Um, this was colored pencil marker. I think that's it, just colored pencil and a couple different colors of markers. And I really like the way that one turned out. Uh, this was just swatching colors, swatching my, um, I treated myself to Karen Dash Super Color Soft colored pencils, the full set, and I love them. I just love how soft they are, but they're not too soft. They're not as soft as Karen Dash Pablo's, which are oil-based and just too soft for me. Um, I tested my Derwent drawing pencils and then the watercolors um, from my different Schmincke palettes. Uh, another bird from Becca's Exotic Birds Patreon recording. This is, um, I'm taking a choreography class uh, through our local art center with a teacher I really love. And these were just notes um, on the Laban movement efforts, if you've ever heard of those. Uh, this is another exotic bird. I actually realized afterwards that I misunderstood um, the exercise. We were supposed to start with negative space, but I just drew with positive space instead. Uh, this was just a marker and a colored pencil. Uh, and is this pastel up there? I think that's another marker up there. Um, and this was a 10 minute drawing. I really love the shorter timed drawings too, because I feel like there's so much more that I can practice. Um, I'm gonna start from the back here to catch up to where we are. These, this was uh, another one with Becca Hall. I was starting with just watercolor and then used that Derwent drawing pencil on top. Obviously, a, well, maybe not obviously a sheet. <laughs> And this was a deer that was in a bunch of grass. This was a really quick one. I started with watercolor, then added the pencil on top. Uh, another, I think this is another shop fronts one. I just kind of gave up on because the level of detail. Quick boat sketch. This one I'm not um, too disgusted by. I kind of like the colors and the simplicity. Uh, two more. This was a landscape. This was one of two people. This was another Ink Harbor, which I don't... This one's not too bad either. It's not great, but you know, the whole point is to experiment, so I'm not really worried. And the reason I want to show you this unedited sketchbook is because this is what a sketchbook can be. You can play. You can experiment. Uh, this was at my brother's house, just a quick pencil drawing. 
this was a boat and then <laughs> my nephew Joseph was out at my brother's as well and he decided he wanted to add to my drawing so he added to my drawing that's Joseph uh, more Joseph and another boat quick sketch you can see Joseph added some marker to it after the fact uh, this is all Joseph he's fan He's a fan of uh, the Ninja Kids, so he was writing uh, Ninja Kids. He was drawing them all in my book. Uh, and then next are a bunch of pages where I have writing. Um, and I had joined this course, I had paid for this course by the Good Ship Illustration and was really disappointed by it. Um, but, the, but I did keep the exercise that I did the first week. That was the only valuable thing in the course. I would not recommend paying for the course. Um, this is another one from Becca's Exotic Birds. I just had paint pen and I was just trying to get something down um, in the time allotted. And that might be it. This might be a super short one. Yep, I think that's it. So that is my... Oh, and at the end, this is uh, Zoe. She taught a class in uh, energy work that I did earlier this year. And that is it. I guess I didn't do a very good job of budgeting out my time for that sketchbook tour. <laughs> I thought it was going to take a lot longer and I thought that each half would be about the same length, but the second half was about a third the length of the first half. So maybe I'm just getting cold because my fingers are kind of chilly. <laughs> um, it's getting colder tonight. I think we might get snow later this week. Uh, but anyway, thank you for tuning in, and I hope that this gives you some inspiration and allows you to give yourself permission to experiment yourself. Experiment with materials you know you're not good at. That's what I've done with watercolor and gouache. Um, I'm used to carefully planning things out beforehand and drawing things before I put any uh, color down. And instead, I have challenged myself to put down the paint first and sometimes only using paint and sometimes only using a couple colors of paint that I have to mix myself. And uh, sometimes using, you know, markers with pencils and sometimes using uh, just markers and sometimes using, you know, pastels with <laughs> other things. And to me, that's exciting because I don't like to be bored. I like to continue to be curious and to feed my curiosity. And I have found that these challenges since the beginning of this past summer uh, have really brought me back into my love for art again. Not that I'd stopped loving it, but it had kind of become a chore because I do have uh, multiple day jobs and I am a full-time single mom. And so I've got a lot of responsibilities and I also participate in my community. I'm involved in the dance community and the art community. And I'm on the school board locally, so a lot of things going on. But this kind of work and immense gratitude to the illustrators on Patreon who offer these drawing sessions and um, have these discussions and encourage these experiments and have um, kind of show and tell at the end if you wanna participate. It is so cool to see everybody else's artwork and it is so cool to realize <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say realize that I don't totally suck, but I think we all can get imposter syndrome from time to time. And it's really nice to see that other people are playing too. Uh, social media can, can get kind of depressing for me sometimes because I feel like some people don't have day jobs and they can just sit at home all the time and spend hours a day on a finished piece of art that they can post on social media and get all kinds of new followers and feedback. And I just don't have the time to do that. So uh, my art practice has become a lot more for me. And if that's how I keep art in my life, then that's wonderful because it brings me so much joy and excitement. And I feel like, I feel like there's a lot more life in my work um, since I've been practicing more regularly. So with that, I leave you and see you next time.